Hello, today we're going to create tic-tac-toe using C. You can use any compiler. I'm using Visual Studio Code, it's free. And yeah, you can use like something like maybe Sublime Text, Atom, whatever the case may be. So, we're going to start with the basic stuff, which is the include studio, studio.h. And we're going to do the int main it's basically it's what runs the main code okay and see for those of you who are new to it this is actually this was actually the first project i created in using c and i learned uh like the basic functionality so i think this is very helpful helpful for beginners to see we also go a little bit into pointers but not too much so it's pretty friendly for those of you who are new to it so we're going to declare a few variables and winner equals zero which is basically we don't have booleans in c so instead of using a boolean since we don't have one we're going to use an int and zero means false one means true and we also want to create another int called count t equals zero i'll explain what these um, variables are for as we go on and now we want to initialize a few variables the and one that's an array that's positions basically it's each position of the board of the tic-tac-toe board it's obvious it obviously has nine positions we also want an index a sign player flag y j y k and j okay so once we have that we want to do a, a for loop very simple so it's just like pretty much every other language so for 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 y equals zero well y is less than nine y plus plus and essentially what we're going to do is we're going to uh, give we're going to give a value to its position of y which is going to be an empty space basically So once we have that, we're going to do a while loop. And this will contain pretty much most of our code. Actually, it will contain the rest of the code except for a function that we'll be creating later. And we want this to run while count is less than nine. And winner is not equal, it's not equal to one which basically means that uh, if winner is true, it stops executing. So we want to do flag equals zero, and I'll explain what flag means later on, but we need to basically initialize it. And uh, I guess you could write a comment here, and we're going to print the board so what we're going to for so to print in C plus plus and sorry in C, you want to do print f, and we're going to just create a new line. So this is this is the code for it. So this is going to basically create a new line. So we don't have all the boards um, like close to each other. We want the separation because remember this is going to the loop. Uh, until until the game is over so now we want to do print f and we're going to do the upper part of the board and to do that we're going to do c percentage which is sorry percentage c which essentially takes a value um, a character actually and I'll explain it just in a second in more detail so we want to do percentage c um this bar and we want to do another bar wait I, no here percentage c and basically we need to write here after the values for each character and this will be the positions so it will be position zero since it's the first so position zero is going to be the first c and we'll do position one in position two <clears throat> excuse me so now we have the upper part of the board and now we want to do another print 
and this will basically just have a minus, a plus, a minus, a plus, and a minus. And it seems like I've done something wrong up here. Expect to the semicolon. And it will just disappear later, I guess. Oh, it's a semicolon from up here. Sorry about that. My bad. And we're going to copy this. We're going to delete this. And we're essentially just going to change the positions here. So this is going to be 3, 4, 5. Down here it's going to be 7, 8, 9. So this is going to basically print the board. So once we have that done, we want to see uh, which player, what, what's, which turn it is. So we have a counter and basically when we do a move, when a player does a move, the counter uh, uh, adds one. So we want to do if count remainder of two equals zero, we want the sign to be equal to X, capital X, and the player will be equal to one. And if this is not the case, we want the sign to be equal to capital O and player equals two. So that's essentially it, that's how we decide who's going to, who, whose turn it is basically. So we are going to print a simple line in the, in the screen and we're going to say move for player and here we're going to introduce a percentage sign D which is going to indicate the number of the player and we want to do one nine. So it basically, because we're, we're going to use the number, the numbers from one to nine to be able to place uh, things on the board. And once we have that done, uh, we, we need, well, we need to put player here, just like, it's basically the same principle as here. Okay. So the percentage D refers to this player. And it could be either one or two. And let's put the semicolon. And once we have that, we are going to get grab some input. Okay, so to do that, we need the scan F. And we need, we're going to do again the percentage sign D. And we are going to put index. But if we just leave it like that, it won't work. We actually need to put an and right before it because basically we need to make a pointer to be able to scan that's how it works in C so the only thing that you really need to know for this tutorial is that pointers are basically another kind uh, just like another type of a variable that stores the information of where in this case index where index is stored in the RAM and this could this changes from every time you execute it it will probably change so that's the that's the main idea and you don't need to know any more about it you can do like some cool stuff with pointers that are really powerful but we don't need to do anything more in this tutorial so now we want to check if the movement is valid so if the index is less than one or the index is greater than nine, we want to print and we want to say um, allow the index is one to nine. And I guess we could do a new line just like that and now we also want to check if the index has if well the number you press so the index is, has already been used so if the position of the index minus one because it's an array and it starts at zero so we have to subtract one 
equals capital capital X or position index minus one. I think I forgot the one here. Equals capital O, which is the circle. If this is the case, we, oh, actually I forgot one little thing. We want to put continue here. So if this is the case, what we want to do is we want to print another message saying that the position is position is occupied and we want to do a new line just so it's not a big mess basically and we also want to do continue okay so if well not if if the well position index minus one equals sign so that's if these thing cases are not met basically we want the position index minus one to be equal to the sign which is either x or z or o and we also want to increment the count by one so we do that the simplest way to do that is doing count plus plus because we've placed a a piece so now what we need to do is we need to check if if the player the current player has won so we need to check columns rows and we also need to check the diagonals so we have to do three different for loops actually for the diagonals we don't have to do one but so it's only two if i remember correctly so for y equals zero well y is less than nine y plus plus and here what we're going to do is the simplest way to do this is if y remainder of remainder there we go remainder of three equals zero let's put this a bit more clean uh the flag is going to be equal to zero it's going to be equal to zero So basically that's if we go to another another row. So if position y, I'll just I'll explain in a minute what the flag means. So if position y equals sign, that is the current sign of the current player, which is either x or o, we want to increment the flag by one. So essentially what we're trying to figure out is if the flag gets to b3 we need to indicate that the current player has won okay so that's why when we when y remainder of three equals zero we need to set back flag back to zero okay um so what we have to do now is if flag equals three we are going to say winner equals one and this is an end but basically we're using it as a boolean okay and we're going to uh, write win which is going to be a function that we will create and by the end of the video and we need to pass the arguments player winner and also position So now we want to set the flag back to zero and we want to do another for loop. So for y equals zero, well, y is less than three y plus plus. And here, what we'll do is another for loop. So it's going to be a nested loop. So for k equals y, well k is less or equal to y plus six k plus equals plus equals three okay so that might be a bit confusing but basically that's how we check uh, the rows so if 
position dot k equals the sign we're going to increment the flag by one and we're going to copy this over here this we're going to reuse it so if flag equals three uh, the winner blah 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 win player winner position that's it and now we're going to check the diagonals so we need to set back flag equals to zero and we're going to do an if statement so if the position zero if the position zero equals sign and position four equals sign and position eight equals sign that is one of the diagonals or we're going to let's just copy this let's put this in here so to do the other diagonal it has to be two the four remains the same and the eight is changes to a six so if that's if this is the case we want to set winner equals to one that means that it's true and we want to do the win again player winner and position and what we're going to do is create a function very oops let me to do that and we're going to create a function so to do that it doesn't return anything so it's going to be void it's called win and we need the arguments int player int winner and int position and here basically we're going to copy the board because we're going to print it once once again there might be um, a slightly more efficient way of doing this without having to uh, copy this code again but I found it that th I found that this is a pretty it's still a pretty good it's still pretty solid so if winner if winner we want to we want to print f player percentage d is the winner and let's do a new line and we're going to put player here which refers to the percentage d so if this is not the case else print f uh, this is a match match draw and we want to do a new line so basically that's it uh -oh, oh, I forgot this in a common, but that's it basically. Wait, I'm forgetting also <laughs> another bracket. So let's try it out. So we have a little problem for line 50, 77, and 50. Let me check it out once again. I'll come back to you okay sorry about that i saw the error pretty quickly i forgot to um say in the print in the board section that uh, we need well that we need to do a new line so just do the same as well here as here as well as here 
So basically, if we execute it, we'll be able to to do movements. So five, um, three, and two. One. Position is occupied. Okay, it works. Position is occupied. Seven. So we also have another error yet again. Okay, sorry about that again. We what you what you want to do is you want to put flag zero in line sixty six. So before it was here, and we want to move it over here. And the other thing is that in the board, I wrote here seven eight nine, and it's six seven eight, and the same applies for here. Okay. So if we run this, I'm just going to, you'll see that it works perfectly fine. Oh, I messed up. Um, five, six, nine, there we go. So as you can see, it, it works perfectly fine. So in this case, player one is the winner because it checked the, di the diagonal and it works. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe i'll be creating more content like this other projects not only c but also python and java which is the main stuff i work with so yeah if you liked it make sure to do that and yeah see you in the next one bye